I'm Stephen Colbert. Uh, is everybody recovered from the rainstorm that just happened outside right now? Man. Is everybody okay? Everybody? Nobody, like nobody needs rainstorm. a snorkel or anything? <laughs> For the people at home, my audience has to line up outside before coming into the show. And today in New York, yeah. it was just pouring was down boring, sheets bro. of rain. It looked like the end of the world out there. <laughs> but we all know that doesn't happen until November. Sure. Of course, everybody's talking about last night's voting results on America's Got Talent. Because <laughs> there was an amazing performance. You guys see this? An 82 year old man named John Hetlinger who blew everyone away. Let the bodies hit the floor. 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 <laughs> Wow, that clip was longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> wow, I was banging my head out here for a little bit longer yeah, I than I should have. <laughs> that guy is so metal, not even counting his titanium hip. <laughs> the song he was doing just then, that he was just screeching out, <laughs> is Drowning Pool's 2001 single, Bodies. I think Hetliger did a good enough job. He should have a Drowning Pool cover band, although at his age, I'd probably call it Walk in Bathtub. <laughs> that was. I am, I am, honestly exhausted from headbanging. <laughs> that can't be a good sign. <laughs> Dizzy. That was not the only history uh, made in America last night, because Hillary Clinton became the first female candidate of a major party. <laughs> yeah. It was an incredible moment. It was an incredible moment, 240 years in the making, because I believe that's when the election began. <laughs> Truly a watershed moment for everyone who believes in equality. And Hillary Clinton took the stage in Brooklyn last night to show the world that once and for all, women's voices will be heard. <laughs> They forgot to turn on her mic. <laughs> hey, they only had eight years to plan it. What are you going to do? I don't understand how if somebody can get up there for the most important speech of her life and the mic isn't on. Is there a shot of the audio guy? What happened? Oh, there you go. There it is. <laughs> oh, oh. Didn't realize how much Bernie looked like Gargamel. <laughs> Lurch. But once they got the sound up, it was a great and historic speech that you all totally watched, so I don't have to show you any of it. <laughs> then, the Clinton campaign celebrated her historic achievement in a manner befitting its gravity with this tweet. Thanks to you, we made history tonight. Celebrate with a free magnet. <laughs> yes. A big, round magnet, perfect to decorate your car bumper or maybe even erase your emails. <laughs> but that's probably how it happened. That's probably, that's probably how it happened. It's totally innocent. But just because Hillary Clinton won does not mean Bernie lost, no matter how much it actually means that. <laughs> just listen to this impartial observer. I am pretty good in arithmetic, and I know that the fight in front of us is a very, very steep fight. Yes, Bernie's pretty good at arithmetic, especially division. <laughs> so, Bernie's... A thinker. It's a chin stroker. It's a chin stroker. So Bernie's not looking good, but Bernie's still standing. It reminds me of that movie. What's it called? It's about an older man who's dead, but no one can tell because he's propped up by enthusiastic young people. It's weekend at ooh, weekend. I thought that was weekend. I forget. It doesn't matter what it's called. And 
<laughs> I think it has a happy ending. And to fire up all of his young supporters for the fight ahead, Bertie ended the night with this enthusiastic call to action.